Ten years ago, I was almost, uh, almost 80 years old. <laughs> and uh, at my party, Arthur Chaskelson, after the Master of Ceremonies said that George will say a few words, my close friend, Arthur Chaskelson, said to say that George will say a few words is a contradiction in terms. <laughs> I have heard a lot. I have prepared a speech seven pages long. <laughs> I am not going to read it. I want to address His Excellency the Vice uh, President and remind him of a telephone call that he made in the in 1990 when freedom touched our shores. He said, and you remember, no doubt, Mr. Vice President, that you said, George, Mr. Mandela, not Mr. Mandela, Mandela, told me to tell you and Arthur Chaskelson to join the ANC's constitutional unit. So does that mean that we have to take a card? And he had a ready answer. No, but I'll try and get an, a decision that you don't have to toy toy. <laughs> Mr. Vice President, Arthur has passed away. He never toy toyed, neither did I. But this did not mean that we were, I'd like to think, uh, good lawyers for the African National Congress, for the benefit of South Africa as a whole. I'm not going to read this. I have given it to the university if uh, they want to publish it. They are at liberty to do so. I don't want to take up any more time. But to say what it really says, what what he did, what Nelson Mandela did, and with how he suffered. As a student in 1948, as a student who was actually prohibited from becoming an advocate by the dean of the faculty of law, who when he was to do his third year, he was told that Advocacy is not for black people. It's too difficult. If you do him a favor, let him write it for a diploma in law and become an attorney. He had to face applications for his disbarment to be jailed for five years, fought, taken part in a sort of not very big criminal offense, five years in prison came back 
life in prison. He actually played a role for the pe people jailed in the whole of South Africa. And the former deputy president of the Constitutional Court sitting there was a co-prisoner. He actually was concerned about the prisoners as a whole, irrespective of their political position. It was important that the people of South Africa as a whole, black or white, should actually be equal and patriots for a future of the whole. I became his friend in 1948. He was in a very difficult position in order to study. He teamed up with Oliver Tambo and the first advocate, black advocate, uh, Duma Nokwe. We became close friends, the four of us. I, as a, a lawyer, not jailed, but denied citizenship for 30 years, and not able to see my mother because I was a refugee to South Africa and was denied citizenship. But came the fundamental change of 1990. And Nelson Mandela played a very important role in order that the Constitution <coughs> should be adopted and be for the benefit of all. I cannot refrain from saying that I get very upset when a small minority of our people say that Nelson Mandela let black people down. He actually avoided an ugly civil war. Some of us, excluding the former Deputy Chief Justice and me, who actually had to do the right thing, not for any section of the people of South Africa, but for all of us. Yes, there have been failures. Rome was not built in a day. There were only 200 black students at the University of the World of Watersrat when Mandela and I were there. I now hear with great pleasure of the thousands upon th thousands of students, irrespective of color, are at our universities. And I'm very proud to associate myself with what has been said 
by many at a university named after Nelson Mandela. It is an honor that he would really appreciate. He has been described as the father of the nation, not any particular color or any particular political tendency. He spoke for the benefit of all the people of South Africa. He's called the father of the nation. I am impressed by the student that spoke. I was a mature herald by day. <laughs> and I think it's quite good, the mature herald. <laughs> and he must be listened to. And uh, <coughs> Nelson has been named as the father of the nation. Good children obey their father. Let's remember it and try and build a South Africa of which Nelson Mandela and all of us would be proud. I'll stop there and thank you for listening.